Hey guys, welcome. Welcome to Artistic License, my Thursday stream where we do uh, whatever I want to do. We start at 630 or we try to. I am so sorry I'm late getting started. Um, my internet was just going absolutely bonkers. I had no idea that my internet was really messed up until I tried to start streaming and then noticed I was dropping a bajillion frames. So for everybody that stayed the, oh my gosh, almost 15 minutes um, for me to fix that, I really, really appreciate you. If you didn't stay, um, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry we didn't get started on time. <laughs> we'll just go a little bit long today. It's no big deal. Um, apologies again, but it uh, should be all fixed now. I don't see any dropped frames anymore, so we should be good. <laughs> <laughs> um, so the first thing that I want to mention for all of you guys that stayed, you get to know that I changed up the um, baby cam channel point redeem. So you'll see it's a little bit different this time than what we've been doing the past couple of streams. So um, somebody should definitely redeem that so I can turn that on and show you guys kind of how that is set up. <laughs> I got a, I ordered a um, 50 foot long USB extension cable to make this work. <laughs> oh my gosh, Lunar, thank you so much for the sub. Eight months, holy crap. Every time your sub um, notification pops up, I am just absolutely blown away at how long you've been um, a subscriber. Thank you so much, Lunar. And welcome, Katie. Welcome, Thumper. Um, I assume that Kendra is still here. Hey, Kendra, if you are. <laughs> uh, Kendra actually redeemed first, but since we restarted so many times, it might let someone redeem first again. I really don't know exactly how that's going to work if, um, if it knows it's supposed to be the same stream. You were the first sub. You were the first sub, and you continue to be the longest sub. There we go. Well, Lunar's <laughs> first this stream, I guess. So sorry, Kendra. Uh, she stole that from you. It's my fault for um, my internet being crazy. <laughs> so some somebody should definitely redeem the show the baby, so I can turn on the baby cam and show you guys. Um, 50 foot long USB extension to make this work, and it seems to work. At least it worked before I. Um, you know, it was online, like when I was just testing it in slobs, it, it seemed to work. <laughs> ah, there we go, Thumper. Wow. wow, indeed, Katie. Okay, here we go. Okay, good. They didn't knock the camera over. All right, you can see all of them as they run by. <laughs> so I set this up. So we're going to be doing this for our baby cam for a little while. Um, so you can see all the kittens, yes, and you can see how they move and how they play instead of just me holding them. Um, so there we go. And you'll be able to see the mamas too, because, you know, I haven't really shown the mamas on screen too much. And, uh, and the way that I've got it set up, like, it's strategic, so it's close to, like, their food and litter box and stuff. So hopefully, so they'll have to kind of come by sometimes and you'll see them on camera. They are their whole cats instead of just blobs. They're, they're real cats. They're still a little bit wobbly. I'm not going to lie. They're still a little bit wobbly. But they behave like cats for all intents and purposes. The kittens behave like cats now. It's crazy. <laughs> well, thank you, Katie. We're going to be doing this for the baby cam for now until we get to the point of, um, of uh, you know, rehoming the kittens and giving them away. Landon, hey, welcome. Girl, I knew kittens would bring you to the Thursday stream. I knew kittens would bring you to the Thursday stream. <laughs> we can thank Thumper for, for redeeming that. <laughs> I imagine you crying right now, Landon. I imagine you crying. <laughs> um, so stick around to the end of the stream because I'm going to talk about what we're going to do for next artistic license, which is even more kitten stuff. So we've got a very special um, artistic license next Thursday that is even more focused on the kittens. So stick around to the end and you'll hear all about that. But let's go into uh, last week's interstage, or sorry, last week's um, spare room episode. Oh my gosh, I've got too many shows. I can't keep the name straight. There we go. So yesterday's spare room episode was describing taste and smell. So this was another video that's in the same series as the um, the describing sounds one. I'm also going to be doing a describing touch video. The reason why I'm doing these videos is because you hear the writing advice all the time that's like write all five senses. But if you don't see a lot of advice about writing senses other than sight, you know, humans are visual creatures largely. We uh, rely on our sight mostly uh, compared to our other senses. So that's very easy, right? But you don't often get a lot of tips about writing what those other senses are other than just being told to not forget about them and write them, right? So that's why I am having videos on some of those other senses. So taste and smell, that was yesterday's video. 
smell my favorite one to creep people out with. <laughs> oh, yes. Yes, it is. Okay. Oh, I have to turn it on for each scene. Ha <laughs> ha. There we go. Oh, oh, thank you so much for the follow. Um, my Shira Foon, Foon or Fune? Tell me if I'm pronouncing your name right. My Shira Foon, I think is how you would say that. Uh, tell me if that's right or if that's wrong. <laughs> um, but yes, yes, yes. Uh, taste and smell. So we we hear a lot about being told to write those, but there's not a lot of advice about like what you might actually want to to write about or think about when you're writing those senses. So that's what this video is about. So if you need help describing taste and smell, there's a whole bunch of tips in that video and also resources in the description for, for more information on writing those senses. Hey, Mochi, welcome, welcome. Always happy to have you. <laughs> I see one of the mamas is right in the middle of the camera. Looks like that's Coke with her white nose there. <laughs> yes, there's probably a kitten right there. Um, that's probably what she's doing. So, because all the kittens are, um, they're, you know, yep, I knew it. I knew there was a kitten right there. There's one. Anyway, so that's what, that's what yesterday's spare room episode is about. So with that being said, um, let's get into the game. You know, we had a late start, so let's make sure we hop into the game real quick. All right, turn up the volume for you guys. Are the visuals working? The visuals are not working yet. Okay. Come on, find the game. Hello? Slobs, find the game. Hmm. There we go. I had to tell it which game. There we go. <laughs> oh, Landon. Well, you'll definitely want to come to the next um, artistic license. I'll tell you all about that at the end. Okay. So, last time, we died and lost a lot of progress. Y'all remember. So, what I did before this stream was I leveled up a little bit. So, I leveled up enough to get... I'll show you guys on the spear grid. I got Lulu, all of her um, Aga spells here, as well as, what's this one? Death. Got her all those spells. And then I got, let's, what other skills did I get? I got Titus. He got Haste Aga now, so he can haste everybody at the same time without having to cast it over and over. And there was one other... Oh, it was Waka. Keep pressing the wrong button. It was Waka. I got him... Osmos. So they all have new skills. I also taught the uh, some of the Aeons some stuff. So I taught um, Floofy Shell and I taught Kisses and Cuddles both Fyraga. So um, yes, we're back to the Lord of the Rings mountainscape. We're, we're going to be finishing our mountain climb this particular stream, or should be anyway. Um, also, what else did I do? Oh, I went back and got those two chests that we missed. And I bought Orin that blessed bracer that we didn't have enough money for because I died, you know, so here we go. Oh, no, we're not doing another random battle right now. Flee, go away. Yes, this is very epic. This is a very epic stream right here between the kittens and the mountain. All right. Better keep thinking, Riku. What are we do? We'll do something. We just don't know enough yet. Until we do, we really can't help Yuna. Let's go to Xanarkand. We'll find something there. It'll all come together. I know it. So positive, Titus. Hey. Hmm? Just now, you sounded like a leader, you know? Star of the Xanarkand Abes. Didn't anyone tell you? Aha! Huh? What? Ah, the son of Jack. This jerk again. Riku, 
run ahead and tell Oren. You are not fighting him alone. Just go, go. <laughs> now is your time to die. Prepare yourself, son of Jake. Not if I can help it. Save some for Kimari. Yeah, it's one against one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So good luck, sir. Lady Yuna, it is a pleasure. Yuna. Ascending so soon? Allow me to say something to the last Ronso before I leave. <laughs> Yours was truly a gallant race. They threw themselves at me to bar my path. One after another. Man, this bitch evil. <laughs> no. Kimari. You could end the suffering of this poor Ronso. Well, now we have to kill him. Allow Kimari to die. Him from his he killed all the cat people. Spira is a land of suffering and sorrow caught in a spiral of death. To destroy, to heal Spira, I would become sin. Yes, with your help. Come with me, Yuna. Once I have become the next sin. Your father will be freed again. Mm. Do we know that's how it works? I don't think we know that. Pitiful mortal. Your hope ends here. Your hope ends here. Hey, as welcome. Welcome back. And I understand you, Katie. I understand you very well. Oh man, he got to go first. Rude. Alright. So here's what we gotta do. Here's what we gotta do. First we got to silence attack him. So that he can't dispel any buffs that we have. Oh, it didn't work. Okay, we'll have to try that again. But first, let's get... Fast girl in here. We gotta revive Titus. So this is legit one of the hardest boss battles in the game. And the thing that sucks so much about this boss battle is that um, if you fail, you have to watch that whole cutscene again. Now, hopefully, there's an autosave before it in the um, this version, but in the original version of the game on the PlayStation Two. Um, you had to watch that whole freaking cutscene again if you lost this battle. And oh my god, I lost this battle so many times, let me tell you. <laughs> it is very difficult. There we go, now he's silenced. Alrighty, let's bring in Lulu. And we know for Seymour, we are always going to cast Bio and poison him, and that's how we beat him. Okay, Katie, we'll change. We'll change to Rainbow. No problem. I'm not a zombie anymore. Full life doesn't do anything. Shadow, I'm so glad. I'm so glad. And I hope you enjoy the kitty cat camera. <laughs> okay, so let's get Titus in here. And let's paste Aga, everybody. Okay, and we already did that. So let's go ahead. Let's get Yuna in here. Do you not want to heal Spira's sorrow? Let death carry you off into peaceful slumber. You can't run from your fate. <gasps> not enough points of articulation in the hip area. <laughs> well, that's something. <laughs> I understand, Thumper. Okay, now that we have our Agas, we're gonna... Fire him. The bio is really going to do a lot of the work, though, here. But we are going to use all of our overdrives. Because why the hell not? <clears throat> so 
So basically, you keep him silenced, you poison him, and you just kind of try to not die. <laughs> that is the main thing that you have to do here, is try to not die. <clears throat> Seymour's a pretty monstery monster. I mean, he has his reasons, you know, I mean, he has like his logic to it, you know what I'm saying, but <laughs> he's pretty awful. Um, he's pretty awful. His, uh, his, his whole logic is really jacked up. Okay. I'm just going to use everyone's overdrives, and then when he gets into a later phase, he does this thing called Total Annihilation, which basically can kill your whole party dead, but Orin can survive it, so I'm going to keep Orin in the party and just do Focus and Cheer and Focus and Cheer and Focus and Cheer um, to try to help Titus and Lulu also survive. They'll be in the party too. So that's what we're going to try to do. It's a strategy that I know works used it before so we'll see how that goes for us today and anytime you summon he like banishes them immediately so you get like one attack and then you're done so if it's not a grand summon i wouldn't waste my time personally oh that cross cleave is so annoying Oh yeah, everything in Final Fantasy is- <gasps> No, really? He got them all? Well, I did get a game over. This is literally the hardest battle in the game. Um, not surprised that happened. Let's see if there's an autosave that lets us skip that cutscene. Mm, Mount Gig is at prominence? Yeah, I think that. Please don't play the cutscene again. That'll be really annoying. It's gonna play the dang cutscene again. <laughs> Thank you for the rip, Thumper. Yeah, it's going to play the stupid cutscene again. There's no way to freaking skip it. That is one thing about this remake that I don't understand. Like, why... Why in a remake of this game do they not allow have skippable cutscenes? Like, that seems like a huge failure. I remember when I played this game the first time and there was, like, no strategy or anything. I fought this dude, no lie, like a dozen times. There was a time in my life where I had this whole cutscene memorized. <laughs> Ridiculous. Ridiculous. We just don't know enough. We're gonna try to do better this time. Until we do, we really can't help you. Well, yeah, I mean, it's Seymour. You're Let's supposed to hate him. You're supposed to suffer. We'll so while this is playing, there. because we already watched it, we don't care. I can give y'all some updates. Um, so finally, hey. Jeff is home. He's home from the hospital. He's doing good. Um, we are we are so excited to have him home. Um, we just just got him home from the hospital today. It has been like, this has been a whole journey, y'all. And it's not over. Like, it's not over. Things are still going to be crazy for a while, but at least he's home. And he's not in danger, and everything's going to be okay at some point eventually in the future. So, really, really happy about that. His request for uh, <laughs> for a meal, uh, his first meal out, out of the hospital, hospital was pizza. So we had pizza tonight. It was really good. <laughs> Got it from Marco's. Got that um, crazy pepperoni one that they have that has like the two kinds of pepperoni on it. And we did the garlic butter crust. Highly recommend. It is delicious. <clears throat> yeah, they should activate skippable cutscenes after Death Thumper. Like, this is crazy. Why are we having to watch this again? Yes, yeah, definitely a man of taste with pizza. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, he's been eating in the hospital, but of course it's just been hospital food. So, you know, it's, uh, is pretty boring. <laughs> and he's used to Levi's cooking, you know what I mean? So he's been really struggling with that, uh, the hospital food. So yeah, we had pizza and we're going to have some short ribs tomorrow. So that'll be really good. And we've got a brisket that we're going to cook this weekend. Um, so really excited about that. Got some good eats. You. Got some good eats coming up. Allow Kimari to die. Release <clears throat> him from his pain. Spira is a land of suffering and sorrow caught in a spiral of death. My god. To destroy. Mm -hmm. to yeah, exactly. As and we do it on the smoker. Oh my god, it's so good. Yes. It's so good. 
And I'm really picky with brisket. Like, I'm not a huge fan of most people's brisket. I think it's dry and just not very good. But um, there's a couple places uh, I've had brisket that I like. And then I like, of course, when we make it at home. Everything's so much better when you make it at home. Since we have a smoker, we make pulled pork a lot. And I'm not the hugest pulled pork fan, like at a restaurant or at a barbecue place or anything. When we have pulled pork fresh at the house. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's so good. It is so good. Okay, do we get to fight now? Do we get to fight now, finally? Looks like it. Okay. Fabulous. <clears throat> oh, only three days? Yeah, still even three days will drive you crazy. Alright. Oh, good. We get, to, we get to go in between. So let's do... Let's taste dog it, everybody. And then... Okay. Silence. Can you silence him? No. Dang it. Okay. Well, let's do... The holy water. There we go. <clears throat> now she won't die. You stay at brisket until you made it yourself? I totally understand that. Absolutely. <clears throat> Alright, let's buy him again. <clears throat> yep, that's how... Make it yourself and then eat it all the time and love it. Yeah, that's exactly how I feel about, um... About pulled pork. Never was super into it, and now, like, I request it all the freaking time. Yeah, the mamas are super fluffy. And some of the kittens, I think, are gonna end up fluffy, too. Like, they sure look like it anyway. Dang, he's still not getting silenced. That's not good. <clears throat> All right, come on. Silence. I know you are not actually immune. We just silenced you before. Okay, who do we want to bring in next? Let's bring in... Bring in Orin and do his overdrive. Alright, this is a new overdrive, so see if I can execute it. It always takes me a second with the new ones. And I don't know my left from my right, so that one's kind of hard. <laughs> with the left button, right button. Boom! Okay. Now, instead of her, let's get somebody in stronger for that cross cleave. Oh, he can trigger command. Good, good. Let's get those stats you up. Have angered Kimari. You have the angered Kimari. The of the Ronso will guide Kimari's spear. That's right. Yeah, he does take a drink, Katie. <laughs> I love that. All right, come on, silence. There we go. Now he's silenced. Fabulous. Alright, and let's go ahead and holy water for Orin. Useless full life. Haha. <laughs> okay. Let's get Titus back in here and haste everybody up. <clears throat> it's all about just keeping buffs. It's all about just keeping buffs, really. All right, what do we want to do? Let's do Aqua Breath. Keeping up buffs and keeping him silenced. Okay, good. He didn't do anything. So that turn, he probably was going to cast Dispel, but since he's silenced, he can't. So we're all good there. Okay, what do we want to do next? Let's get Waka back in to do his Overdrive. <clears throat> Fabulous. I think I probably just brought unit in too early before. I think what I'm gonna do... Oh, let's do her trigger command. Do you not want to heal Spira's sorrow? 
Let's get some protects up. I'm gonna use her overdrive later. All right. Oh, this is Orin. Um, yeah, let's keep Orin in. Let's see. Okay, he's getting pretty low. Okay, come on, survive cross cleave this time. We've got Orin and Walk in the party. Someone's got to. That's right. Okay, it's Walka's turn. Oh, let's do... Let's bring Riku in. I think if I mix two Phoenix Downs, then I'll get, like, a full restore with Yuna. There we go. Fabulous. Okay. Come on, Titus. Haste everybody up. That's right. Okay. And let's protect on Titus. We're going to be using him. And then Riku, I think we're done with you for a moment. Let's get Warren back in. And let's Mega Potion. So we have all full health. I think he's about to... Oh no, good. Thank God. I thought he was about to cross cleave. <laughs> but he didn't. Beautiful. Okay. Uh, let's see. Holy water. And... Let's see. Do... Let's get Lulu in here. And do her overdrive. He hasn't had a chance to yet. Oh, hey, Moisty, how's it going? Will I land this job I've interviewed for? Okay. Learned in my stream earlier, you have this and he had, had to see it. How did you learn that? Did someone tell you? <clears throat> we'll definitely do that. Um, we usually pull the tarot cards all at the end. So at the end of the stream, I'll pull the tarot card for you. All right, what do we want to do? We need to silence him again. Poor Walka is so low. Oh, I don't want him in here, yes. Purple, okay, we can do purple. Um, let's bring, Wait, no, let's bring Orin back in and just have him attack. Aw, oh, dang, it's reflect time. Okay, now's the time that it's very hard to survive. All right. Purple! That's these ones. No, that's the dark. Uh, yeah, no, that's these. Had to look. <laughs> Uh, Irony and Beanie told me you were talking about tarot cards and was just joking about purchasing a deck and just giving awful tarot readings that I've completely made up. <laughs> oh, that's too funny. That's too funny. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Um, no, I'll do it for real. I mean, I don't take it super serious, but, um, but I will absolutely tell you for real what I think about your question. I'm not, I'm not making it up as it were. I mean, I am in the sense of like, you know, I, I, I don't actually know the future, shocker, but I'm not like, you know, I'm not making it up, <laughs> if that makes sense. Okay, come on. Is he, there we go. Okay, instead of using any magic, let's mega potion so everybody's healed up. Need more watches and waits. Oh, that's not good. Okie dokie. Um, let's do... Let's have you just attack. And then let's bring in Yuna. And let's do... Hey, Jane! How's it going? You missed me dying. <laughs> this is literally the hardest boss in the game, though. I think... I thought I could do it without dying, but I could not. <laughs> you want to refund? Predict the future Magic Queen. Sorry. Can't do it. <laughs> I wish. 
But you know what? If I could predict the future, um, I would just be using that to absolutely roll in it myself. I would not be, you know, working a nine to five or any of that kind of nonsense. <laughs> Pop it in the den. Okay. Um, no problem. If you are not here anymore, I will let you know what the cards said for you. Question is, will I land this job I've interviewed for? Do you want the job? I mean, I assume if you interviewed for it, you want it, but you know. <laughs> okay. Hopefully that takes off a lot of hit points so we can be done soon with him. Well, it took off enough for him to do another morbid absorption. Whew, hopefully then we don't have to live through very many annihilates. Though we didn't even get that far last time. And there is a total annihilation. And I, only Orin's going to survive, I bet. Please cross your fingers that he does. And that I don't have to do this again. Start it over. He's not going to live. Holy crap. No, I have to do it again. Watch the stupid cutscene again. Oh, this is so annoying. I hate this fight. <laughs> ah. When I was doing my practice before stream, I beat him the first time, no problem. Of course, now that we're actually streaming, we're on attempt number three. <laughs> Good lord. All right, time to watch the cutscene again, because this game doesn't let you skip cutscenes. Yeah! Yeah, good job, remake, Not still not letting you skip cutscenes. <laughs> 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 so, okay, what's, what else can I tell y'all about? Oh yeah, I can tell y'all about how the kitties are doing. I know that's what I get for practicing exactly, Shadow. Um, what can I tell you about the kitties? So basically all the cat, the kittens now act like real cats, just a little bit clumsier. Um, they, they eat cat food. They nurse too, but they, they eat cat food on their own. They drink water on their own, which means we're going through water and cat food and they're like crazy. They also, uh, try to use the litter box. They're trying very hard to use the litter box, but it's kind of tall for them to hop into. So basically we have like a a towel underneath the litter box and sometimes they make it into the litter box to potty but most of the time they're pottying on the towel <laughs> so that's how that's going um but at least they're trying i can see them attempting to use the litter box which is wonderful and if i catch them when they're about to go potty and pick them up and put them in the litter box then they'll go they'll go into the litter box and um and then it's like you know it's all good and, uh, and they, they use it no problem. And they can hop back out. It's just getting into it that's a struggle for them, right? Because once they're, when they're hopping out, like, it's a little taller because they're on top of the litter, you know? But when they're from the floor all the way into the litter box, it's, it's difficult for them. Any favorite podcasts? I've been listening to some every, ever since I was introduced to the world of podcasts. Um, I don't watch a lot of, or listen to, watch, huh? I don't listen to a huge amount of podcasts, I'm going to be totally honest. There was one, though, that I listened to a couple of episodes on that Sasha told me about. I wish I could remember. Um, let me see if I can Google it real quick while there. this is going. Because they had an episode about the guy that started, um, what was it? The guy that, that started, uh, I think it was A-Chan, the, the one that QAnon began on. Um, let me see if I can find this. I think it was 8chan. It's one of those, like, awful websites. Yeah, okay. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, I found this, the guy, Frederick Brennan. Okay, see if I can figure out the podcast from here, from Googling him. Hmm... It's not popping up. I mean, he's done a couple podcasts, apparently. But the one... But the one that I'm thinking of isn't popping up. Let's see. I wish Sasha was here. She could tell. Oh, no. Don't play the podcast. Go away. I can't, I can't find it. It's not popping up. 
anyway, it was a really good podcast. <laughs> uh, and I listened to a couple episodes before I got bored with it even. But I just can't remember what the podcast was called. I love T-A-Z. Oh, ha, huh, it's time to fight again. Okay. Oh, we can start first this time. Wonderful. Well, we're going to go ahead and haystaga everybody. <clears throat> okay, we're going to get good this time. Oh no, why? Rude. How dare you get to go twice? That's not right. Okay. Uh, let's see. Phoenix down on Lulu. And then silence him. Work the first time. There we go. Good job, Waka. Good job. Okay. Now I need to... Oh, actually, let's haste her first. You can get some extra turns in there. Um, and then let's... Holy water her. Okay. And we can go ahead and do his overdrive. When one of mine's was a kitten, she sharted. Oh no, poor kitty cat. Poor thing, that's awful. All right. <laughs> that poor little kitty. Um, okay. Guess I can go ahead and do his overdrive too. <clears throat> and then bio him. <sighs> All right. You have anchored Kim Hari. The spirits of the Ronso will guide Gimari's spear. All right. <clears throat> Third time's the charm, right? We're going to kick his booty this time. Circle technique. Why people thought doing this with a joystick was like a good idea. For something I don't even know. Do y'all remember the first Mario Party that was that that had that, and there was like a class action lawsuit about it, and then um, they had to issue like um, gloves, and you could get a glove if you wanted, uh, because people were like hurting their hands on doing this motion on their their joystick. <laughs> uh, let's see. Did I haste everybody? Yes, I did. Okay. So here's what we're gonna do this time. We're gonna cheer, cheer and focus, cheer and focus, cheer and focus. Don't kill me. Dang. So rude. All right. Come on, Riku. Save us. Um, I think... Let's do... No, okay. Let's still do two Phoenix Downs. Yep. Don't worry, I already killed him with my own Phoenix down. I feel like I'm still not going to win this time. <clears throat> but maybe. Alright. Let's... Uh, do I have a Mega Phoenix? I don't think I have a Mega Phoenix. Oh. Let's get Orin in here. And you can do your overdrive. <laughs> Did 
this time it's gonna work out, y'all. Feel it, and think positive. Ah, oh, lovely, he casted Protect. All right, and focus. Let's get Luna in here and protect. Yeah, protect on Orin. Oh, because he's not silenced, he can dispel. How annoying. Oh, let's get Walker back in here to silence him. Did it work? Can't tell. Oh, Fiona's dead. <laughs> I knew it. All right. Ah, oh, Titus's HP is so low. Okay, let's do. Let's do. Let's see. Mega potion. To heal those two up. And then we will do make them faster. Oh, I could have just done haste on Orin. Oh well. That's okay. And then Riku. No, it doesn't. That's okay. Phoenix down on Yuna. And then... Mega Potion. No, she only needs a High Potion. Okay. <sighs> Alright. Haste her up. And then she can... Do her... Trigger command. Do you not want to heal Spira's sorrow? Let death carry you off into peaceful slumber. You can't run from your fate. All right. How do we want to do this? Because he's going to go below the 3500 and start doing total annihilation next. So let's get Mari in here. And then, is there anything? Oh, he has silence attack. Try to silence him again. There we go. Good job, Kimari. Auto attack mode. Beast up Kimari. And let's get Orin back in here. Get our high hit point people. And let's see. Yeah, Kamari needs health. Okay, that'll get everybody up to full. And maybe we can survive. Ready to annihilate. Okay. Uh, let's see where his hit points are. The 33. Okay. I'm back, Orin. Because I know he's going to annihilate next time. I don't think take damage for an ally is going to do anything. I think he's immune to all the breaks. <laughs> yep. I think the only things we can really do right now is attack. We be loafing the baby cam. Ah, oh, thank you so much, Thumper. <laughs> uh, I feel like a lot of times the kitties are like under the bed, so they're not, you know, on cam. But, uh, but hopefully they're coming by decently. Because I'm trying to concentrate on this fight. I haven't really been watching the baby cam to see how it's going. But, uh, but hopefully well. I don't really need to increase accuracy. What does he have? What else does he have? Is Scan gonna tell me anything that I don't already know? I 
Yeah, I already know all that. Yeah, he's immune to all the breaks and confusion and berserk. Okay, that's what I figured. Yeah, he's immune to all that shit. Alright. Happy to update on cat-related activities. <laughs> it looks like that's either Coker or CJ there. Um, chilling in the camera. So, I'm glad y'all are getting to see the mamas a little bit. So you don't get to see them quite as much. Alright, let's see if we survive total annihilation. Hopefully we do. Come on, Orin. Yes, thank god. Alright. Now we're going to... Let's see. Do we have a good way to get everybody back up? We don't have any Mega Phoenixes. If I use an item, though, I'll be able to do it twice. Okay. <clears throat> Old man bitterly clings to life. The funny thing is, is he's like 35. <laughs> so he's not even old or anything. It's crazy. How this game makes him look so old. He's, he's world weary. He's not really old, he's world weary. <laughs> Failed Counter-Strike. Oh! Nice! I've never seen his reflect- I guess because he didn't cast Reflect yet. <gasps> oh, that's amazing! Okay. Let's get them healed back up. Ready to annihilate. Yeah, I know. Alright. Let's pull Yuna back in to see where his HP is at. 21. I want to get it a little lower, I think. Uh, here. And is there hit points all the way up? No, Orin's is not. Get Orin back up. There we go. Is there anything? I want the game canon to explain how Orin positively reacts to Titus's cheer. <laughs> oh, that's a good point, you know what I'm saying? That's a good point. Okay, let's see. Oh, he's so low. I think we're gonna, I think we're gonna, okay. Come on, Yuna. Come do the, your overdrive. You're gonna grand summon Fluffy. Blues does enough damage to kill him. If it doesn't, he should be almost dead. I can't remember exactly how much damage it did before. Fuzzy was, he wasn't very fuzzy. <laughs> no, Floofy is not very Floofy. He's kind of the opposite of Floofy. Even his wings don't look like anything Floofy. <laughs> oh, that was close. Oh, I did get him! Because <gasps> the Morb Absorption! He killed himself with the Morb Absorption! Third time's the charm, I knew it. I knew it. Thank God, don't have to watch the freaking cutscene again. I swear the first time I played this when I was like in high school, I watched that cutscene like 12 times. Like I had it memorized at, after I had seen it so many freaking times. Cause like, I didn't know the strategy or anything. Woo, all done with that, thank God.
He will become sin with my help. Lies. Forget them. If he becomes sin, Sir Jack will be saved. Mm. Winnie. You know something, tell me! <sighs> tell me. Better just tell her. Sins. My old man. You hit your head. Sin is my old man. My old man became sin. I don't know how or why he did it. I felt him inside. And when I did, I knew it was true. My old man's spirit is suffering. Sorry. Even Mama. knowing that sin is your father. Still, you know I must. I know. Let's get him. I think my old man would want that. You'd fight your own father? Yeah. yeah no problem there. <laughs> <laughs> he wants to. About your old man. You sure this ain't some kind of bad toxin dream or something? Wishful thinking. Chapu. I, uh, I think I'll just pretend I didn't hear nothing. I'm getting a little confused, yeah? Why, why'd all this have to happen? Not a good way to live your life, Waka. Soon. Okay, finally. There's a save point up here. We're gonna save immediately. <laughs> oh, wait. There's something, no, between these? There's a chest here. There it is, it's that one. Saturn Crest, we need that. We need that for later. I had to get up there a second because Queen wanted in. Oh, uh, let's see. I'm gonna save over this one, yes. Okay. Thank God we're done with that. Now we can go into the Cave of Trials. these faith oh. someone is drawing energy from all of them this many who wields power on this scale and what could they be calling hey you know something don't you spill the beans look not to others for knowledge this is your journey too orin you mean might die you know no orin's right this is our... This is my story. Temper, I think you missed the episode where they explained all the faith and summoning and all that. Oh, another one of these sequences. Hey. Hey. Ooh, back in Xanarkin. Hey, we've been here before. Seen some of these sequences. What's happening this time?
This must be his room because his clothes are in the corner over there. Uh oh, Bahamut child. You remember me? We met in the Uh, yeah. But that wasn't the first time we met. Mm -hmm. I've known about you for a long time. A long, long time. I, I feel like I know you too. Where are we? <laughs> Silly, don't recognize your own home. into you, hey! Wake up! Wake up! Uh-oh. Wait. Wait. This, this is a dream. dream. Precisely. A dream? A dream? Are, Are you, you crazy? crazy? I, don't I don't have time, time to be dreaming, dreaming now. You're wrong. It's, it's not, not that you're dreaming. dreaming. You are a dream. What? Uh, wait a sec. And then he runs away. Get back here, child. How am I a dream? Long ago, there was a war. Yeah, with Machina, right? Yes, a war between Xanarkand and Bavel. Bavel's Machina assured their victory from the start. Spira had never seen such power. The summoners of Xanarkand didn't stand a chance. Mm. Xanarkand was doomed to oblivion. That's why we tried to save it, if only in a memory. What did you do? The remaining summoners and the townspeople that survived the war they all became faith, faith for the summoning. The summoning? You mean sin? No. No. I mean this place. A Xanarkand that never sleeps. What? The dreams of the faith summoned the memories of the city. They summoned all the buildings, all the people who lived there. The people? What? They're all dreams? Me? Too? Yes, you're a dream of the faith. You, your father, your mother, everyone. All dreams. And if the faith stopped dreaming, No. no! So, so what, what if I'm a dream? dream? I... I like being here. We've been dreaming so long. We're tired. Mm. Would you and your father... Would you let us rest? Both you and your father have been touched by Sin. Sin, the one around whom all Spira... The spiral evolves. What are you saying? You two are more than just dreams now. Wake up! Wake up, please! Just a little more, and maybe... Maybe you... Are the dream that will end our dreaming at last. Oh, he woke up.
You okay? I... I'm okay. What happened? Nothing. I blacked out. I was dreaming. <laughs> you called me. And I woke up. Nothing like a good nap. Well, I'm ready. Let's go. <laughs> a little bit too quick on the positivity there, Titus. All right, so if you didn't follow what just happened, what that scene was basically saying is there is no time travel from this game. Titus isn't from a thousand years in the past when Xanarkin was a thriving city. Titus is from a dream world that is being summoned by, excuse me, by Faith. So all we knew that Faith did up until this point was that they... Um, you could use them to summon Aeons. Summoners could use them to summon Aeons. But Faith can use to be summon lots of things. It doesn't have to be Aeons. So that's what we just learned there. So Titus isn't from the past, or there's no zero time travel going on here. He is, um, he's a dream person that the, just like an Aeon is, um, essentially. That's like the, that's probably the best explanation or where we are in the game right now. So, that's what just happened, essentially. Mm. Wow! <laughs> oh, hey, Kendra. Um, how are you doing? I know you are here at the beginning and then the stream, like, totally failed. <laughs> oh, and thank you for the hydrate thumper. Yeah, he's in an unaware isekai. Absolutely. That's pretty much what's happening here. Alright, so this is the Gagazette Trials. Oh, well, let's do this battle first and then I'll explain where we are and what we're doing. All right. There we go. Good job. We're going to power break this guy. Just like um, climbing Mount Gagazette, the monsters in these trials here can be pretty difficult. So you, st you still want to use like your skills and stuff against them. Oh, you're still unpacking and moving and things like that. I feel for you, girl. <laughs> I, oh my god, I hate moving so much. I never want to move again. I, I mean, we might. I don't know if this house will be forever, but, uh, god, I don't want to. Um, just the idea of it just, like, makes me nauseous. Oh no, Eliza's been sick too? Oh my gosh, that's awful. I'm so sorry. On top of trying to move. Sounds like the worst. Okay, I don't think, no, Waka did go. Oh, good, it doesn't do that much damage. Let's get Yun in here to heal. Put together a day bed for the couch today. So now we can sit on something instead of an air mattress. That's always how it is when you first move, right? Like things aren't put together. So you get, you kind of get a choice, right? You either get to have your couch or you get to have your bed. You usually can't have both <laughs> early on in the move, I feel like. <laughs> well, I should have armor braked him too so that we can do more damage. I'm having my new couch and bed delivered on my move-in day. Oh, smart. Smart, Thumper. That's why you're like the science person. Because you got all them smarts. <laughs> no Let's go. I don't exist out of setting up a home and entertaining a three-year-old. <laughs> oh, Kendra. But you're so good at both of those things. Okay, we're going to go ahead and save again. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So the way that this works is it kind of branches off from this save point in this area. So we're going to keep coming back to this save point. 
But first, we are going to go down um, this way, I think. Yeah. Yeah, this way, this way. <clears throat> Granted, this is a privilege given to me only in that I'm buying all new things. Ah, well, if you're buying all new things, then that does make it far easier. <laughs> Yes, right now, um, the kittens have taken over our room, so we're sleeping in the living room for the time being, but it's worth it, um, because then they're safe and everything, and we'd have them roam the house at this point, but, you know, we tried, and Coke still does not get along with, um, with Queen and Ash, like, just wants to fight them, so we're not doing all that, so they're staying in our room, since Jeff is home now, obviously, um, they cannot stay in Jeff's room because he actually needs to sleep in there. <laughs> he hasn't slept in his room in like two months and some change, so <laughs> that wouldn't be right. Coke, is that co Coquina? <laughs> yeah, Coke is ready to fight. It's funny. <laughs> she's the one with the white bit on her nose. Um, that's why she's named Coke. And yes, she is ready to fight. The other one, CJ, is actually pretty chill, and we really don't have a lot of issues with CJ, but Coke, Coke wants to fight, and we thought that after the kittens were born, she would calm down a little bit, but no, it's actually gotten worse now that she's not pregnant, so it's pretty bad with the fighting. Oh no, Ochu dance! Urgh. Okay. Let's swap you out for somebody else since you've got all status effecty. Come on, thing, you have to be dead almost. Oh, he only darknessed her. Oh, good, good, good. Yeah, exactly. Coke is very, very protective of the babies. Like, too protective. Light Queen's not gonna mess with them, you know? But, you know. They're kitty cats, they don't understand. Okay, light blue. Let's find the light blue ones. There they are. We'll do a little swap swap. Oh, did it Ochi dance again? It looks like it did. How much HP does this thing have left? Oh, not that much. Well, okay. Let's get Titus back on his feet. No, but hormones are cray. Yeah, absolutely. I'm sure that's what she's going through. Because she's a very sweet cat. Like, she loves people. She's just not getting along with other cats, you know? Yeah, she would make a, a great um, pet for a single cat household. But we are not a single cat household, so obviously she's not a good pet for us. <laughs> uh, let's see. Oh, oh, I can't get down there. That's right. That's not till later. Let's get rid of the wolf first. Goodbye. And then let's thunder this one. <clears throat> but yeah, the kittens are doing good. Oh, I didn't mean to kill it. That's okay, though. Um, Something else that I want to tell y'all about that I have not mentioned yet is you definitely need to come to Interstage Window on Saturday because we are going to be talking all about kind of our new format and what's going to go on with that and um, and what it's, what we're going to do with Interstage Window going forward. So um, something, so basically we've been doing this Interstage Window for almost a year now and uh, and you know, it's time for some changes because there's only so much roleplay stuff that one can talk about. <laughs> and we've been doing it for so long, plus I've been doing Spare Room for almost almost three years there, like two and a half years now. So on Saturday, we're going to take some time to explain a little bit about what is going to be the future of Interstage Window in particular, but also some stuff on my content in general. But we're going to be playing Sims 2. Oh, okay. Water, water section. Oh, thank you, Eliza. Don't worry, I will, Lulu. Okay. 
We will be careful. So, so I say that to say, um, y'all should definitely attend because we're going to be playing Sims 2 and what Sims 2 also means is it's, gonna, it's a new game, so we need new channel redeems. So if you guys have any ideas for um, redeems for spell reagents that we should be doing for, um, where do I want to steal from? Let's steal from this guy. Um, for, for Sims 2, put them in the suggested spell reagents so that I can add them because there's a lot more to sims <laughs> than there was to uh to viva pinata so of course we're still gonna have like a naming redeem just like we did for viva pinata but there's so much more we can do um with sims 2 than we could with viva pinata for like y'all interacting i'm sure so um please let me know what you would be interested baby names yeah i mean we're definitely gonna do that but uh but i'm kind of like asking you know what else would you guys like to see if you have ideas please put them in, um, because there's just, you know, there's a lot more to Sims. So I'm sure there's more stuff that we could do, but I'm not sure what you guys would like or what you'd be interested in, so that's the ask. If you do, you've never been into Sims, so I don't know what options would be useful. Ah, Thumper, how have you never been into Sims? Buy a ship, make these two Sims date, or something like that. Oh, I see what you mean. Oh my gosh, what's happening? Why is everyone dying? Um... So because we're doing a legacy challenge, uh, I'd have to think about how I want to word that, but we maybe could. Like, I'm not opposed to anything, because even if it's something that's, like, we can't really do super often, then, you know, I can just make it, like, worth a lot of points, you know, or something like that. <laughs> Thank you for the commentary music there, Kendra. <laughs> I tried it, my sims got super depressed and I couldn't get them out of the hole and I was like, this is dumb, so I didn't play anymore. Thumper, did you play the console version? Did you play the console version on, like, PlayStation? Um, I can't even remember which PlayStation it was. Like, PS2 maybe it was? I was also 11, I got bored very quick. No, it was on PC. Oh. I don't know how that happened in the PC version, Thumper. Um, you're a special one. <laughs> how you did that <laughs> on the console one though uh, stuff like that was very easy to get yourself stuck in a loop where you couldn't get out of it i could totally see that happening didn't get to play on the consoles because those were my brothers oh that's silly i'm sorry <sighs> we had to share there was no choice like that <laughs> when i was growing up it belonged to both of us. Even if it was a gift for one of us, we had to share. <laughs> yeah, keep attacking Titus. He'll just counterattack you. Alright, sweet. Oh, they twitch targets. <laughs> That's that auto med, by the way, why she just automatically uses those. Which is really nice. Um, I think it just made them work study all the time, because I didn't know the cheats, and I wanted money. <laughs> that Thumper, I'm like, <laughs> I'm just laughing because that is like, um, that is a wonderful, like, microcosm of, like, an 11-year-old's perception of the world. <laughs> uh, so that's cracking me up, that's cracking me up. Goal, goal in game is money, so I will just make my sims do all the boring shit so that they get money. Dang it, that was way too slow. Ah, too fast. Okay, try it again. Hmm. No, that hit at that time. I guess it's hitting the middle one. Okay, let's let it spin a little more. Ugh, keep missing. There we go. 
I was a capitalist. I wanted the number to be big, and they're like, "You're." I'm too depressed to say, but like, your grades are shit. You better study. <laughs> you you did have some ideas about grades. Wow. But okay, like, I definitely can remember knowing kids that that thought that way too. So you are you are not alone. <laughs> It just is so funny to me. <clears throat> 26 year old idea also has <laughs> also has ideas about grades. It's not all about grades, Thumper, you know this. <laughs> Sounds like my parents when I got a B. Oh my god. <sighs> Making me sad. The fact that I couldn't force them to do things when they were depressed was completely foreign to me. Oh wow. Yeah, you can't. Um the the Sims are, are particular. They're not gonna. They're not gonna do things if they're too sad. Like if their social is too down or their fun is too down, they're not gonna do certain things. But I don't really play like that. Um, I play very much with the wants. If you remember from Sims 2, there's the wants system where your your Sims will like roll what they want to do. And I'll explain all this when we do inner stage window like in a lot more detail. But I typically will like look at their wants and have them do stuff like that. So if they want to do their homework, I'll have them do their homework. If they don't want to do their homework, then I'm not going to make them. So if their grades fail, like it's on them. This is, they never wanted to do their homework, so they failed. <laughs> and that's pretty much how I play Sims. And that's part of why I love Sims 2 so much is because of that wants system and the aspiration system. Like it just works so well for the way that I like to play and the way that I like to see drama play out. What a majestic kitty. Oh, the one that's laying there. I think that's, is that Coke? That looks like maybe Coke. It's hard to tell because it's small on my screen. It looks like there's maybe, is there a kitten laying with her? No, I don't think so. <clears throat> do, do. So yeah, we're gonna talk all about on Saturday changes not only to the show, but we're gonna introduce Sims 2. And um and yeah, the whole point of me telling y'all about that is if you were Sims players, then um you can, you know, let me know like channel redeems that you would be interested in having so I can get those set up. Of course, if, you know, we'll still take suggestions um, farther along, so you don't have to think of them now. I just wanted to put that thought in people's heads so that y'all knew I was interested. Because with Viva Pinata, there's only so much that I could make interactive like that. So it was a much simpler game, but Sims 2 is much more complicated. Are you going to have any expansion packs slash mods to consider? Oh my gosh, I have all the expansion packs. I have all the expansion packs, Thumper. And I have um, lots and lots and lots of mods. <laughs> I even created a, this is, I mean, y'all know my Virgo Ascendant like just won't let me live. Uh, <laughs> I created a document that explains all of this so that after the first episode, if people are confused or want to know, they can just, you know, exclamation point Sims 2 and get, um, get that document and get it all explained to them. Karen plays an Otome game win. So Kendra, I have tried to play Otome games. I really, truly have. And um, I can't ever find one that I can play for more than a few hours without getting bored. Sorry, I'm a failure of a weeb. I know. I wanna do that? No, okay, here's what we wanna do. We're gonna bring in Orin and break him. Oh, which comment? Which comment's awesome, Katie? Oh, let's do armor break. These are the free ones out of the ticket system. That's the ones I've played too, and um, and yeah, I just couldn't, I couldn't get into them. You're going through Court of Darkness right now, and it's so extra. <laughs> So I get my five minutes of story a day. Yeah, I mean, that's pretty, that's the ones that I've played because I figured that was a good way to see if I even like the genre. And I, I think I just, I think I'm just not that into it. You know, I think, I feel like I can get that type of thing 
more and better from fanfic, I guess. And so I just don't have a huge interest. And that's that's what that is. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay. We need to break you more. More defense breaking. Oh, let's see. Oh, I need to... Oh, you can... Okay. I almost forgot. You can lance at these guys and get that white wind that I was trying to get from Biron and Yankee in that one fight. Yeah, so now we have white wind. So that's awesome. Okay. Now can she blow him up? Let's see you under pressure. There we go. Rude healing yourself. All right, who hasn't gone? I don't think Luna's gone. I don't think Titus is gone either. Come on, Titus. I can't remember if um, Waka has. Well, they're getting him now. Oh no, she's out of magic points. Or mostly out. Well, that got him anyway. <laughs> well, Thumper, you're cracking me up. <laughs> Forbidden teacher. Um, yeah, so I, I like I'll read the description of um, those Otome games and I'll think like, oh, that looks interesting. And then I just don't really, I don't know, they just don't hold my interest um, for whatever reason. Okay, so what time is it? Okay, so we started late. We still got plenty more time. All right, so that's the first one. And then we basically, after I do each little bit, I go back to the save sphere. So now what we're going to do is head up here and then turn left at the fork and do another. Um, let's get Orin in here to break these guys. <clears throat> all right. I'm going to power break and armor break all of y'all. Oh, I was hoping he would shatter. But no. <laughs> What's on? Oh, oh my gosh. I see what they're doing. I think they're about to start nursing. Yeah, there's so many kitties now. Oh, that's wonderful. I'm so glad that they're actually performing for the camera a little bit. Because I can't really, I can't really get the whole room. I've got, in the camera is most of the room, but um, I can't really film under the bed quite so easily. Uh, because it's dark, so. Alright, let's power break you too. You don't hit so dang hard. And then, getcha. They're playing. Oh, good. Oh, I see. Okay, I do see that they're playing. Yeah, they um, they definitely all play with each other at this point. It's amazing. And it was really great um, watching them when they first started playing. They didn't really know what they were doing. <laughs> it was good. Oh, they must be hungry. I think I saw one walk over to where the food and water is. The food and water is just off camera to this side a little bit. All right. Maybe you'll shatter. I can't remember if these guys are immune to his shatter or if it's just like they have very high resistance to it. Mom or auntie. <laughs> but they're kind of both moms. They've been they've been both momming them for sure. It doesn't really seem to matter to them who the actual like bio mom is. So Thumper, now that you you've seen them all in their glory, you know, for like over an hour straight, you've changed your mind about making the trek to come get one, right? <laughs> All right, if we go left here, there's going to be another little trial.
Let's see. Let's go ahead and get you in here and heal. <laughs> oh my god, that emoji face! That emoji face! You're cracking me up. Oh no, you didn't kill it. Power break and armor break this guy. There we go, now he's dead. Let's get Titus in here. Oh yeah, I definitely got an armor break when his turn comes around again. I'll need to get Riku in here. The crying bun face. Oh, is that what it is? Is a crying bunny? Oh, a mega potion. Nice. Okay, let's do armor break. The mouth looks bun like. It does. I mean, now that you say that, it does definitely look bun like to me, too. I see it. I thought maybe that was like an official name for it or something, and um, I just wasn't familiar with it. Excuse me. So it's just a, it's just a thumper approved name, but that's good. I mean, that can be our official name for it. <laughs> oh, I need to do spear grid. I should have done it when I hit was at the save point. I'm gonna make these battles easier. <clears throat> there's a reason to make these guys lives harder than it has to be they had to fight Seymour three times already yeah he's 35 he's just been through a lot you know his life has been really hard And then we'll do, we'll continue on. I meant to do this at the save spear, but I just totally forgot about it. Because the monsters are pretty difficult in this area. And we're basically, we're really close to the end of the game. Alright, and then Yuna. What's this? Oh, Kiraga. Oh, good, good, good. You can do big heals. Alright. Come on, Kimari. <laughs> yeah, um, the mamas like to lay like that a lot, Thumper. All right, let's continue on. Go into the water again. Yeah, no, that's right. It's called Creation of Adam. All right, we're gonna... Oh no, white magic. We're gonna let's haste Saga. That's right, Titus, let's end this quickly. This guy is annoying. Let's power break. We're gonna armor break him too. Um, let's get Kamari in here, make sure everybody gets a chance. His hands look backwards. Yeah, his hands look really weird. I always thought the hands on this sprite looked really weird. I'm glad somebody else mentioned it too. Cause I always like, when I look at this guy, I'm always like, there's something like wrong with the way that they designed him. I don't know, it's really strange. Um, <laughs> especially his hands. I don't like the fur, otherwise smash. 
I'm weirded out by the hands. Um, that's that's how I feel. And I guess otherwise smash. But um, but I think the hands are really strange. All right, um, Lulu still needs to go. Yeah, I think it's because they try to make him like be able to do all fours and on two legs, both. And so that's why it's so weird. His hands are so weird. So yeah, I don't know, but I don't like it. <laughs> I do know that. All right, did I get everybody? Let's see, did Waka go? I cannot remember. How many sticks you think we can get out of these? I guess not because he spoke. All right, and then let's get Orin back in here. Oh, don't heave on Orin. Yeah, I knew it was going to be. I have to revive him. All right, come on, Yuna. There are no hands, it's just fingers. Exactly! Like, it's just, it's weird. His design is weird. <laughs> it is Elder Abuse. They shouldn't be picking on poor Orin. He's been through so much, and he's about to go through so much more. There we go. Now it's dead. Alright. Into the water again. Yeah, this area, this cave in um, the Mount Gagazette cave is really beautiful. I mean, everything in Final Fantasy is really beautiful, but I love the water areas here in particular. You know, anything with like bioluminescence or like rainbowy colors is like in animals, like gets me like crazy. I mean, y'all know that. So, I'm like, this is so beautiful. It's the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. Like, I wish, I wish to see something like this in real life, you know. Rip Atlantis's holographic flamingos. Yeah. I mean, you know it's a Karen thing if there's like a holographic animal somewhere. Or bioluminescence everywhere. Because <laughs> I gotta have that. Sparkly, glowy animals. Like an absolute fascination for me. I assume the space wolves were glowy. There was something glowy that I put in in um in the last event before i was like you know what this is silly me trying to push this <laughs> when i just can't be here right now you know so yeah yeah the jellies i added space jellies that were like holographic and glowy or something well, i feel like if it's a space animal it's definitely at least glowy whether it's holographic or not, that's another question, but it definitely glows. Okay. So with these, you have to, like, put the people in the holes, and I'm trying to remember who goes in which hole. I think, I think she goes in the green hole, and he goes in the blue hole, and Waku goes in the red hole, I think. Or maybe Titus and Riku are swapped. Let's find out. There we go. Okay. And we're going to swim back down here for a chest, or we're going to fight something first. <laughs> Put the people in the holes. <laughs> that is what she said. No, I was hoping he would shatter that guy. The sun has pieced out. Yeah, these eyes all pieced out. Okay. Let's heal up Riku. <laughs> oh, Kendra. And let's Phoenix down Waka. Okay, 
Exactly. We all know them feels. Alright. Get everybody some heals. Alright, now we can kill these guys. Come on, Shatter and Waka. I knew it. Yay. No sun, only kitties. Yeah. <clears throat> I guess it was that time. <laughs> uh, let's revive her first. Oh, that's my last phoenix down. That sucks. There we go. Yep. Sun went down. I mean, it's dark out the window in here, too. Okay, let's try again. Get this chest. Alright, and swim back. <clears throat> Why do I keep getting this combo? This is the most annoying one. There we go. Kill that guy first. Charging. <clears throat> okay, it is about 820. We didn't get as far in the, um... We didn't get as far in the, uh mountain cave area as I would have liked, but that's okay. We're gonna stop here because I've got a couple things I gotta do. We gotta do Moisty's tarot card and um, I want to tell y'all about next week's artistic license because y'all waited all the way to the end very patiently. So it's kitty related. So um, I want y'all to, to know about that. And then um, we have to do Pokemon, of course. We're gonna go back to the save sphere and save and then we'll do all that. I'm telling you all this so that you help me not forget <laughs> to do any of these pieces. Because I don't want to break my promises. Alright. Come on. Swim, swim, swim. Ah, oh, so annoying. Okay. But I don't want to miss out on any experience, so, like, I want to fight them, you know? We're at the hard part of the game, so, like, I don't want to... I don't want to give any of that up, because I need it all. need all those sphere levels. Kitties are sleep time to wrap up stream. Yeah, and I mean, man, when it gets dark outside, like, you cannot see with that camera. Like, it has, it has no vision <laughs> at all. <laughs> I'm, like, amazed at how dark it looks. I mean, you can just kind of see the little mouse toy in the front, and that's it. Oh my gosh. Why? Oh, and we don't have a phoenix down to revive her. How annoying. I knew he was going to kill at that time. But she gets no... It's not a stalker camera. No. <laughs> that webcam is actually pretty cheap. Because I just wanted something to, you know, not necessarily film me, but just film the animals and stuff like that. So I didn't need something quite as nice is what I've got for me, you know? Okay. We're gonna flee. We're gonna flee. Oh, wait. That's Riku. That's why there was no flee option. Flee! Back to the save sphere. Almost there. Alright, we're gonna sphere grid before we stop. Make sure everybody gets all their levels. I don't feel the need to do that at the beginning of the next Final Fantasy episode.
<laughs> you have forbidden teachers stuck in your head. <laughs> I might have to check out that Otome game. But don't worry, I'll get bored of it very quickly. <laughs> Alright, that's where we're going to stop. There's a bit more in the cave, so we'll have to finish that next week. Um, okay, so let's go ahead. We're going to switch over to webcam while I get all this stuff closed. Yes, I want to quit. Okay, let's pull out the tarot so we can do Moisties. Go away, game. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna pull up my Twitch dashboard um, so I can get his exact question. I'm fully prepared for Karen to get bored. <laughs> yeah, that's how I always am with those games. Okay. So, oh my gosh, y'all redeemed so many cat ears. There we go. Okay, so he says, will I land this job I've interviewed for? And I am sure by now he's asleep because he's all the way over in the UK. So I'll have to tell him later what the answer to his question was. So, all right, cards. Moisty wants to know, will he land the job that he's interviewed for? So we're gonna we're gonna tell him what we think about that. Will Moisty land the job that he's interviewed for? I love doing these; they're good practice. And this deck really likes reading for other people. Okay, so. Will Moisty land the job that he's interviewed for? So we got right side up, nine of cups. Can y'all see that? There we go. Right side up, nine of cups. All right. Let me read this. I think it's going to be a good answer, though. I think, Moist, you absolutely are going to get this job because the Nine of Cups is a representation of emotional fulfillment and wisdom, and um, and it represents counting your blessings and living in the moment. So I think that means that this interview was your moment. You built up your relationship properly with this interviewer or with other people at that particular place of employment, and um, and you're at the top of their list. So that's what I think this is saying. I think that you're, you know, at the top of their short list and uh and you're you're likely to get it. So good luck with that. I hope that works out for you. Uh truly. So nine of cups, good, good positive reading there for your question. All right, let's put you guys back in the box. The lag here is big. You mean like at your new place, Kendra? You got a lot of like internet lag at your place with the stream compared to your old place? Get back in that box. There we go. Oh wow, that camera is totally blacked out now. It's that dark. <laughs> I think it's because she didn't know the context for my preparation. Oh, oh, I see. We're talking about that Ot Otome game. Okay. All right, so I'll have to tell Moisty that the, his answer was a yes. Okay, so let's do Pokemon. Gotta catch them all. What are you talking about, Thumper? You say normal things all the time. I don't know. I don't know what this is. Okay, so we're going to do some Gen 5 Pokemon this time. So let's open up our handy-dandy Vicoon website. So we are going to do 
Gen 5, and we're going to look at a fighting type for Gen 5. We're going to sort by national dex number. There we go. Okay, cat's in the way as always, so let's clear that out. Okay, so we've got Pig Knight and Embor, we've got the Timber line, we've got Throw and Sock, the Scraggy line, Mind Chow, and then these are um, legendaries that we're not counting. So I really, really like Mind Chow, but what we're going to put in this particular slot, in the fighting slot, is Timber. So let me show you guys Timber right here. It's like a little beaver weasel thing. Um, I think they're really cool. <laughs> I like them. I used one in my playthrough. Okay. It fights by swinging a piece of lumber around. It is close to evolving when it can handle the lumber without difficulty. These Pokemon appear at building sites and help out with construction. They always carry squared logs. So that's what I like to put in the fighting slot here. And then I said I really liked Mineshaw. And Mind Chow is what's going to go in my favorite fighting slot right there. So let's take a look at Mind Chow. And I think I'm saying that right, Mind Chow. I'm not sure. But anyway, it's just beautiful. Like, look at how cool this looks. It's a neat Pokemon. Okay, it wields the fur on its arms like a whip. Its arm attacks come with such rapidity that they cannot even be seen. They use the long fur on their arms as a whip to strike their opponents. Oh, <laughs> I'm reading what y'all are saying, the context, y'all. <laughs> Cracking me up. Okay, so that's for the fighting types. And look, we've got a bingo on our fighting types now. Um, and next, we're going to go look at our ground types. So let's go back to Vicoon. And let's look at the ground types for this generation. There's the ground checkbox, and there we go. So our choices for Gen 5 ground types are Drillbur, an Exadrill, Palpitoad line, the Sandile line, and Stunfisk, and then Golette and Golurk. So this, I have a huge soft spot for the Sandile line. I love all three of these. I used one in my playthrough, and so the one I like to put in my favorite ground slot is Crocorock, this guy right here. He's a dark ground type. I think he's really cool. He's basically a sand gator, and I just I think that's so neato. Um, they live in groups for a few of a few individuals. Protective membranes shield their eyes from sandstorms. The special membrane covering its eyes can sense the heat of objects, so it can see its surroundings even in the darkness. So then it goes right here, Gen Five ground. But my favorite, of course, y'all know I have the soft spot for the, uh, the lower evolutions. So I like to put in my favorite ground type, the sand dial. I think it's just so cute. So cute. So here we go with sand dial. They live buried in the sands of the desert. The sun warm sands prevent their body temperature from dropping. It moves along below the sand surface. Except for its nose and eyes, a dark membrane shields its eyes from the sun. Exactly, it's baby sand crocodile. So there we go. So now we have got our favorite ground type in there. All right, and lastly, we are going to look at the legendary for this generation. So we can't really use the V-Kun for that, so I'm just going to Google Gen 5 legendaries so y'all can see the different ones for that. So the legendary Pokemon for Gen 5, we've got... Um, what's called basically the Three Musketeers, and it's the Cobaltion, Terrakion, and Brizion. I'm not really sure how you say those exactly. You've got the Forces of Nature, which is the Tornado, Thunder, and the Land, I guess, Earthquakes, you would say. And then you've got the Tau Trio, Reshiram, and Zekrom. So my favorite of all of these, and y'all know I go for the aesthetic, right? Y'all know I go for the aesthetic. But it is this one, um, Virizion. Virizion? I'm not sure. Anyway. It's of the grasslands, and it just looks like a big grass deer thing, and I just think that's so cool. It's like so sleek looking, you know? So let's look at its entries. This Pokemon fought humans in order to protect its friends. Legend about it continued to be passed down. Its head sprouts horns as sharp as blades. Using whirlwind-like movements, it confounds and swiftly cuts opponents. 
So there we go. There's where it's going to go, right there in the legend slot. <clears throat> the time and space ones from Gen 6, how did I miss all of five? Yep. Can you hear me now? <laughs> so there we go. We're getting much, much farther on our Pokemon meme. I mean, it really looks filled out at this point, you know, like it's kind of crazy how many we have filled in there. So we'll continue that next time. Okay, let's save this. Okay, y'all have very patiently waited all the way to the end. Thank you so much. So we're going to talk about what we're going to do next artistic license episode. So since the baby cam worked out so well up until the very end, which is fine um, because we're actually running slightly long this time since I got so late starting with the internet issues. But um, okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're playing Pets 5, next P-E-T-Z 5, next artistic license, which is a childhood simulation game that I played. I played all the pets, one through five. They were the best freaking games. They were amazing, right? Um, it's a simulated like cat and dog, you know, like you play with them, you breed them, stuff like that. So what we're going to have is it's the same thing as far as the baby cam will be like in the maternity room so you can see them, but I'm going to have a channel point redeem where you can swap the camera with the game. So you can make the kittens that maternity cam big for 10 minutes and make the game small instead of it being the other way around where the game is big and the cats are small. So I'll let y'all redeem that a certain number of times during the stream and um, or, or I'll make it like have a cool down or something. But basically it gives you 10 minutes of big in your screen kitty cats. So that's the um, big reveal. So the next stream is going to be all about the cats. And we're going to be playing Pets 5 for our game, but it's really going to be about watching the kittens. Like, that's that's the real deal. That's what the stream really is. So I hope y'all are excited. If you love seeing the kittens today, they're going to be big and in your face next week. So uh, come out for that. All right. All that being said, it's time to end the stream. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate you being here. Um, we are taking a little break from Final Fantasy next week, but we got pretty far today. Thanks for bearing with me fighting Seymour three freaking times. Holy crap. So annoying. Let's find someone to raid. Yes, exactly. Thumper. Let's find someone to raid. You'll know where to find me. I don't need to do no special outro. That's how it is. Okay. Oh, haha. -ha. Um, okay. Do we want to watch Saskatchewan play Ark or do we want to watch Alpha Tiff play Stardew Valley? Are y'all feeling... Ark more or Stardew Valley? So Ark is like dinosaurs, right? And Stardew Valley is the farming game. What are y'all feeling more of? Saskatchewan or Alpha Tiff? Ark sounds more exciting. I mean, Ark is a little bit more exciting, yeah. Okay. Let's read Saskatchewan. Here's an extra O. I think that's right. Yes, there we go. Okay. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. I will see y'all on Saturday for Interstage Window for some Sims 2. Looking real forward to that. Um, bye, guys. Have fun watching ARC. Okay. See you later. <laughs>